Hey, welcome back to Smoking with the Robinsons. I'm Brian. We've got Kelsey behind the camera. Today, we're going to do up some ribeye tacos. And we'll go ahead and get going in this. If you look at these ribeyes, these are thin sliced ribeyes. It almost looks like lunch meat. We made some tacos with these the other night, and we said we have to do a video on these. So we got these at our local store, is it Walmart? Yes. Walmart, they already had them pre-packaged like this. So if you haven't seen it, I'm sure your butcher could shave them down for you, but these things are tender whenever they're cooked. And so we are gonna cook on our 17 inch Blackstone griddle today. We'll have Kelsey come around where she can see the front of it, just where you can see it. We do have it on already, and I've just got it all the way on low. But this is just the tabletop version, easy to take camping, wherever you want to go. Cook some awesome breakfast on these things. The next thing we're going to do is get these things seasoned up. We don't want to go too heavy because they are thin, but we are using Butcher Barbecue Sweet Chipotle Rub. Give us just a little bit of heat on them. So like I said, we're not gonna go real heavy. Hit it with that. Just give them a little flip here. And they're already coming apart, so you know it's gonna be tender in these tacos. Come back on this side. Pat that in. And so I'll kind of tell you what we're going to do while this seasoning's kind of marinating into it. We've got some red cabbage that we're going to put in the taco. We actually did this recipe at a steak cook off a couple weeks ago. They had an appetizer category. So we did this same exact thing, but instead of steak, we use shrimp. So we've got a Chewy's jalapeno ranch sauce is that what it's called chewy's jalapeno creamy dip chewy's jalapeno mm. creamy dip kelsey whipped that up it's awesome on that we put some red cabbage some shredded cheese some salsa you can put whatever you like but i think this thing is ready to go so the first thing i'm gonna do is just spread a little bit of oil on here Work that in. We're going to start putting our steak on. Get a little sizzle action going. It is not going to take these long. And we are starting to get some raindrops out here, so at least this is going to be a short cook. So we're going to let these cook up. All we're going to do is probably let them go about a minute, give them a flip, let them finish up, and we'll come back to you whenever these things are done. Alright, these things are looking good. we got a little char on them. I think they are perfect. We're going to get these off. We're just going to put them right here. Gonna get these tacos built. Be sure to turn your flat top off. We've left it on and you get a big mess on top of there when all that burns. So we do have to show you the box of these some mini bowl tortillas. And this is what we use. This is a good for presentation that we did. So basically all we did was start with some of the red cabbage in the very bottom. It's kind of good to have a little crunch in the bite with all this so we're gonna put that in looks good to me next I'm gonna add a little bit of salsa Ooh, that's a lot of salsa now we're gonna come back in with our meat and if you can see this this meat just comes apart Stuff it on in there. And 
Now we're going to come back with our shredded cheese. Smells wonderful. Alright, now we're going to come back with this jalapeno ranch, creamy ranch sauce. Put that over. That is it. Alright, we're going to give these a try here. See how we did. These little bowls make it good. Turned out great. Get cleaned up a little bit. Sorry I had to get cleaned up there, but as you can tell, we got some storms rolling in again. It seems like that happens every time we try to cook. So we're gonna take this inside. Y'all give this a try. You won't regret it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.